Well, he is one of Australia's biggest country music stars. And now, Troy Casadaly is getting ready to hit the stage once again for this year's Carols by Candlelight. And I'm pleased to say he joins us now from the scene of all the festivities for tomorrow night, the stage of the Sydney Meyer Music Bowl in Melbourne. Troy, good morning to you. You're a true veteran of Carols by Candlelight, but this must be one of the really special times of the year for you. Look, it really is a special time for a lot of reasons. That We've had kids coming here when they were tiny toddlers, uh, and, and now they're full-grown people, you know, they come down and share the experience. And Vision Australia's been doing such a great job, I think, down here with, with the carols. And 80 years they've been going, Charles. It's just amazing. What, describe for us what the atmosphere is like for you on Christmas Eve. Look, every time we've done it, I've done it over eight years now, I think, over, over the time it's been on, and um, the atmosphere is spectacular. You really get a chance to, to breathe it in, even at the rehearsals. Like, we'll have rehearsals this afternoon, and it'll be full of family and friends here at, at the beautiful uh, Maya Music Bowl here as well. And it's just nice to be able to feel like it's Christmas. Melbourne does mm. Christmas very well, and um, it's, a, it's a very big city of soul, but they really do feel Christmas here a bit, in a big way. We see, obviously, looking from the crowd, the polished performance on stage. When you look around backstage, who are you most looking forward to seeing this year? Oh, look, Colin Hay. I'm a huge Men at Work nice. fan, and um, to, to see him sing will be amazing. He always blows me away with his vocals, and um, there's a lot of amazing young acts like Judah Kelly from The Voice on as well. It goes from the, the, the up-and-comers right through to the very seas mm. like Colin, so I'm looking forward to seeing them all. What about your children, Jem and Clay? Who are they most excited to see? Well, we've only got Jem here this time. She's okay. 16, and um, she was here as a toddler, but Clay's had to work, you know, when reality bites. Oh. That's what it's all about, Jane. It's you know, when they life. start working and they don't get, yeah, school holidays go out the window. <laughs> They're looking forward, I think, just to, to feeling the feeling of sitting in the crowd here. Mm. I mean, I love it. I, in between the performance, I'll be out there with them, hopefully, as well. But it really is it's something to behold when you stand here, the lights are on. People are holding their little candles, and um, I, I'm looking forward to celebrating Christmas yeah. in Melbourne. There can't be too many people using the excuse Dad's performing at Carols by Candlelight and need the night off, but all the same. It's been a big year for you. You won the Golden Guitar for Album of the Year at the Country Music Awards. It's your 36th, I believe, Golden Guitar. How is that? That just makes me feel a whole lot older, Charles. <laughs> really, that's all that does. Um, but but uh, if I'm here to fly the flag for country music, I'm very proud to do that as well. I mean, Tamworth's a very important um, time in every, all of our careers and our lives. But, um, yeah, to, to be able to, to end a year like this, what a spectacular way to finish it off. Now, you also have some exciting plans next year, because I believe you're going to be a baton bearer in Tamworth for the Queen's Baton Relay as it passes through on its way to the Commonwealth Games on the Gold Coast. Where have you dug this up, Jane? <laughs> um, I can tell you now, um, the only worry I have, I'm hugely privileged to be able to run the baton uh, through the beautiful town of Tamworth where I've got so much history. Um, mm. The only problem I've got is probably how to hide my skinny Maltese leg. <laughs> That's the only problem I've got. Hey, Maltese <laughs> and, um, have and, um, strong legs, know, Troy. <laughs> and I knew you'd get that, Jane. Um, I, I, I'm hugely, hugely honoured to be able to be able to be a part of it as well. Um, I really do understand that you know they don't choose these things lightly, so yeah. it's a, it's a great way to start the year. All right, All right, it's just about news time. I think we should hear a little taste of what's coming tomorrow night before we go there. I think so. Let's let's give it a go. And you can catch Troy at Vision Australia's Carols by Candlelight tomorrow night from 8pm right here on Channel 9.